Welcome to the Department of General Services video tutorial on Windows 10. In this tutorial, we will be covering key features and functions associated with the new Windows 10 upgrade. Enjoy! By popular demand, the familiar start menu is back in Windows 10. The start menu is enhanced with resizable tiles and new capabilities to help you be more productive. On the left, there is a list of your most used applications, followed by an alphabetical list of all of your applications. On the right side of the start menu, you will see live tiles. Included in this area are locked groups. These locked groups include DGS default and system. Locked groups can be rearranged within the start menu. Additional groups can be created by selecting pre-existing applications. Simply right click on a desired application and select pin to start. This can also be done by dragging the application over from the left hand side. This will add these applications to your live tiles area. Right click on these tiles to resize them or unpin them from the start menu. You can rename these groups of applications by mousing over the empty space above the new group. You can then name these groups accordingly. There is also an option to pin applications to the taskbar. This can be done by right clicking on them, selecting more, and pin to taskbar. In Windows 10, the settings application has taken over part of the control panel. There are multiple ways to open the settings application, with the easiest method being to select the start icon located in the far left hand corner of your screen. The settings application is marked with the familiar gear icon. Another method to opening the settings application is to type settings into the Windows search box located to the right of the start icon. As you can see, the new settings application provides for a similar look and feel to the Windows 7 control panel. All of the icons are the same and can be accessed by clicking on them. If you would like to go back, you can click on the back arrow located in the upper left hand corner of this application. If desired, the old control panel can be accessed by right clicking on the start button, which will open the quick access bar and allow you to choose control panel. This may also be done by utilizing the Windows search box. The control panel in Windows 10 is unchanged from Windows 7 and all functionality remains consistent. Through the settings application and the control panel, you can customize your background, change system settings, power settings, and much more. File Explorer has been available on Windows for many years. However, in previous versions, it was referred to as the Windows Explorer. File Explorer is a window that allows you to explore and manage the files and folders contained within your computer and also with your associated network drives. Let's examine the different features and functions shown within a typical File Explorer screen in Windows 10. Within File Explorer, the navigation screen pane is used to select folders, drives, and navigate the computer's folders and files on your network. You can collapse and expand the areas shown within the navigation pane. This area includes quick access, this PC, and network. You can use the back, forward, and up button to navigate within the different screens you browse within File Explorer. The various tabs within the ribbon are shown at the top of File Explorer. You will find all the file and folder management commands shown within this area. You can click the tabs to see the functions available within each group. Similar to other Office applications you are already familiar with, these tabs will change accordingly based on what has been selected within the navigation pane. For example, if you would like to map a network drive, you can select this PC, go to the Computer tab, and select the Map a Network Drive button. Another option, if you don't like the standardized view within the File Explorer, you can select View and change it by selecting from a range of options. If you want to search for a specific file or folder within a selected folder location, you can use the search box to accomplish this. Searching begins immediately. There are also more advanced search options that can be accessed by selecting the search tab at the top of File Explorer screen. We will address these functions in another video. One of the tools Windows 10 offers to help you stay organized is the task view and virtual desktops. By selecting the task view icon located on the taskbar, you will notice all open applications move to a permanent side-by-side -side view. Once in the task view screen, you can select a desired window, bringing that window to the foreground and closing the task view screen. Another way to close the task view screen is to reselect the task view icon. 
Task View is handy for people who utilize one monitor, have a laptop, or Surface Pro because it allows you to have multiple virtual desktops. Virtual desktops are a fantastic way to stay organized. You may create a new virtual desktop by selecting the plus new desktop icon located in the far right hand corner of the task view screen. You could then, for example, open three virtual desktops, dedicate one to your current work project, one may be utilized for communication and daily planning, while the last may be used for research. Once two or more virtual desktops are open, you can then switch back and forth between them. Applications can be relocated across virtual desktops simply by clicking on them and dragging them to the new desired location. To close a virtual desktop while on the task view screen, first click on the task view icon, find the desktop you no longer need, and click on the X in the upper right hand corner. We hope you enjoyed our informational video on Windows 10. For further information, please refer to the DGS YouTube channel. Thank you.